haven't had grant money in you know probably four or five years, and we keep expanding our network uh, with internal cash flow. And I just got to say that it's if we weren't there, I really don't know what would happen. And it's rural, so how do you get service providers to come into your area? Because it's, it, it is it's just the, the density is low, the, the uh, demographics, it's impoverished counties. Well, since we were created, since we started our network, we've created two uh, wireless internet service providers, and one that was existing has expanded dramatically. So just that, you know, if it wasn't for the broadband authority, these three companies wouldn't probably be in existence today and servicing end user customers. So it's, it's, so it's more of a catalyst, it's, it's let me say, it's, 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 a, it's a critical need in infrastructure for, for uh, education and healthcare and economic development, but it's also critical to attract <coughs> private sector service providers to your area, so you have competition and you have checks and balances in the marketplace. I think I only have a few minutes, so I go on and on. So. <laughs> <laughs>